today I'm going to take you on a little tour of some of the coastal attractions near where I live. Now, this is obviously a river, not the coast, but this is uh, Ballina, my nearest coastal attraction, where the Richmond River meets the sea, which I've done a, actually done a whole movie-length vlog about the river from the sea to the source. So there's a beautiful seafront here, lots of attractions along it, hotels, nice cafes. We'll just pop along down the road a bit. So Ballina actually has a few rivers coming into it, Emigrant Creek and North Creek, as well as the Richard River. And as you pass through Ballina heading towards the coast, you come up to this uh, beautiful part here where North Creek meets the Richmond. Uh, there's quite a lot of great places to, to see and visit and go to. That's North Creek in there, it has this beautiful sand flat area where it's a great place to take kids and that, a little bit of wading. Right there's the sea out there through the breakwater. So we're going to start heading north from here along the coast road. Which it has various other street names, but it's basically the coast road from here for quite a while. There's another little inlet here, it'll be another good place to take kids to play in the water. This is Lighthouse Beach. You start to see a little bit of the sea. Now, as we follow the coast from here northwards, let's have a little look. A bit of a surf break here this morning. So there's beautiful little coastal paths. There's the beach, there's the breakwaters where the river comes out into the sea. Up along there, some more beaches which we're actually about to go visit. Uh, this is now Shelley Beach. Just going to pop into this car park. There used to be a great little cafe in here. And it's basically gone, just gone. It was on that little slab there, a little cafe in there, great bloody beach view. Um, yeah, I think there was something wrong with its, I don't know, permissions and water use or something. Anyway, there is a rather wonderful cafe along here. Or the Bell General, which I'm pretty sure Wifey and I have been to in one of our rides. There's a little uh, beach car park down here, we'll just take it down and have a little look. So that was Shelly Beach. I'll head on north up the coast road now. So there's whole stretches of beaches along here I've never actually been to because uh, it's basically there's only really access for locals on foot, which is good. There's plenty of beaches that can be crowded just back a bit. 
So as you can see there, like there's a whole housing estate there. There's a nice little footbridge there that takes everybody down to the beach. Ideal, no traffic. Just walk, just walk to the beach without any hassles. So we'll just pop out here to Flat Rock Beach, which has a nice little tent camping area. Kind of a eagle camping, if you like. My wife and I came and checked this out a couple of weeks ago, and yeah, it's potentially it could be a really good spot to just come. When uh, you suddenly decide to go camping, you know, it's not that far. And it's secluded, it's by the beach. Don't get a lot of that. So I'll just take you for a little walk out and show you the beach here. So uh, this is Flat Rock Camping Area. Or some of it. And uh, a nice little path here just takes you up to the beach. That's kind of beautiful, isn't it? Alright. Let's head northward a little more. Well, there's a place immediately north of Flat Rock called Sharps Beach. But I won't really take you in there. There's a lot of roadworks and all that around the entrance. It's all a bit of a mess at the minute. Well, this is actually the second time I've come out to do this trip. I've done most of the trip already once. But at that time I forgot my little handy camera. Uh, my, you know, carry around, walk around video camera. I also had some problems with some of it. And so that's why I'm actually doing it again. But because of that, I'm going to go now to the previous recording, which was actually not too bad where I visited the next beach along here, which is Boulder Beach. So we'll cut to that now and then cut back afterwards. So in here there's a little spot called Boulder Beach, which I, I really do like this little spot actually. I'm not that into sandy beaches, not that into getting sunburnt. I do have a history of having had melanoma. But look at this. You want to go rock pulling? You want to look at some nice pebbles and shit? We're just parking a little bike in the shade here. Go for a wander, I think. So, just a short walk from that little parking area, and you're on a headland. The Boulder Beach behind you there. And this way, you got. Uh, Lennox Head headland and a little beach in between which not very people, many people know about. So hopefully you can hear this, I've got the microphone out. I'm hoping the wind won't be too much problem on it, but there's a good spot in there. So the next thing we find is the Pat Morton lookout. I didn't even know it was called that. Just saw it on the sign. This is a Analytics Head headland. So you go for a walk way up there to the headland. I've actually done that on a video long ago. And I also did a video where I went along that beach, well I went to the other end of that beach and rode down a dirt road to get to it which is called Seven Mile Beach. Now it's Lennox Head Township down in there. Up there is the way to the headland. It looks like we've got a few little squall showers around. Could become interesting. Anyway, I'll take you down and show you Lennox Head. This is Lennox Head, which still has a nice village atmosphere to it. Still got, you know, your local store, got nice little cafes and stuff. It's starting to upmarket itself a bit, <coughs> which is inevitable. But, you know, they can't all be barren bay, especially with the prices. Just driving people away. I think I'm going to avoid barren bay. 
today. I'm not particularly fond of Bowen Bay. It used to be a lovely place full of surfies and travellers. It's been taken over as a playground for the rich. You can't even park anywhere without having to pay. There's gated communities everywhere. It's still potentially a beautiful place. But, you know, go look it up. You can see plenty about Bowen Bay. I'm showing you some more of the hidden things. Uh, and another reason I'm not going is the holidays and it will take me it could take me an hour and a half to get from one end to the other the way the traffic is. And when I did the first version of this trip that's exactly what happened. I was stuck in traffic for ages. So Lennox Head has this yeah, massive seven mile beach. It's just a beautiful place. I still think it's a beautiful place, it hasn't been gentrified out of all recognition. You know, it has a little, you know, this, um, you know, look at this. That's not a cafe, that's a restaurant. Uh, this used to be the corner store for this end of time. It's been turned into a please wait here for seating type place. The north end of Lennox Head is the caravan park and the lake. So that's the lake, it's called a tea tree lake. But it's actually coloured, the water is a little bit sort of amber stained from tea trees. So these trees that grow all around it. Uh, I'm not going to go very far up here, it looks like a lot of it is closed off. In fact the road I wanted to go up is, is totally closed off for roadworks. That just gives you a bit of a glimpse at it. Just throw you a little bit of the sea here. So there's the headland up there. And a madly crowded beach by my standards. If there's more than one person for a kilometre, it's well overcrowded. I think I'm just going to detour a barn altogether. And where shall I end up then? After that, probably Brunswick Head. All right, see you there. Well, this should be exciting. I've never been along to this bit of coast. And I noticed it on the maps when I was looking last night, thinking about this trip. I should be able to turn left in here and take what looks like it the old road, what's left of it, along to the road to Talgum Beach, I'm hoping. Let's see how we go. I think this is where Splendour in the Grass happens, the uh, big rock music concert. I'm just going to show my age there and say rock concert. The old Brunswick Road now, that goes to the airport. Know that. I think this is the road that will take me to the beach. That's a bit of a bone shaker. Whoa. What a bloody mess that is. I didn't even know this kind of land was in here. Oh, you look out towards the coast from the freeway, it just looks like flat scrub. Ooh. Look at this. It's looking pretty in here. Tiger and Nature Reserve, we're in. Oh, 40, okay. Tiger and Nature Reserve, goes to the management trail. Ah, oh, that's the one that goes all the way up to Weon where we've camped.
Alright, that was pretty cool finding this place. Never been here before. Uh, it's, uh, I just took a couple of pictures, had a wander around. Talked to a couple of oldies there. It's actually a nudist beach, just 200 yards down the beach. So I'm going to go down there with my camera. But yeah, cool sort of hidden gem. Really? Alright, we'll uh, head up to, I think, Brunswick Heads will be next. So this is uh, Brunswick Heads. It has a nice pub, it has a person who thought about pulling out on me. Some other guys on bikes. They're a very popular pub, this one. I used to play here quite a bit when I was still doing live music. So it's got the Brunswick River here. There's the river. Now I'm going to try to get to another point of the river that I've never been to after we quickly go around here. This is going to be really crowded. Can you tell? Yep, super crowded. So there's a little sort of jetty out there. There's beaches over there. Um, I'm just going to turn around because it'll do for now. Dead end up here, I know that, so not much point. Let's go and see if we can find a more secluded part of the same river. So I don't know what's happened here. There used to be a fisherman's co-op seafood place here, which is utterly closed down. I have no idea why. There's no signs or anything. Real shame. It was a great place to come, look at the boats, show the, you know, with kids and that, get yourself some fish and chips. But no longer. So this is that same river, and there should be a right turn down a little lane to take me along that side of it. I haven't been down this, no idea what it's going to be like. There's a car behind me. So... Uh, go around about and come back. See, that was lessening the risks there. I had a car behind me, he may or may not have seen me. I would have been stopping in a road with no turnoff lane. He may or may not have just run in the back of me. So rather than that, there was a roundabout just up the road. Up there, around the roundabout. Much safer. Ooh, find myself a wee track. This could be a bit of a hidden gem, couldn't it? So all those people are over there on the other side. And we're over here. Oh wow. Look at this. One car. Oh yes, this this is this is bloody awesome. So there's another place. Part of this trip I'm gonna go to and it's over there. And I went there last time. I'm not gonna go there again, I'll show you the footage from last time. Partly because my repair on my indicator hasn't worked out all that great. And, uh, and it's a really rough road to get out there, so I'll show you the footage from that one when we get to that point. But how good is this? Just up there is where all those thousands of people were. Just over there is the caravan park. Just over there is the closed fish and chips place and the jetties. Over there it's people, people, people. No people, no people, no people. So here we are in the mangroves. Just off uh, ocean shores. People canoeing and stuff in there. So last time I did this trip, I went along that road to the right there. Where it says emergency vehicle beach access. I went down there. And I had quite the little adventure, which I will show you now. Right, so supposedly I found this little dirt road that'll lead me down to a nice little spot by the sea. I shall try and find it now. North Head Road, this should be it. People 
live along here. That'd be cool in some ways. Well, we're on Brunswick Head Nature Reserve. Plenty of foothills. So the beach should be to the left of me and the river to the right of me. Uh, it just looks like some sort of parking area. So, interesting little spot. Basically just a car park and a toilet. Um, that way is the river, this way is the sea. Let's go take you to the sea first. So there you have it, and uh, down there is the river mouth, that's the breakwater, and it looks like there's a little walk you can go all the way through the, the scrub there and get to that, I'm not going to have time to do that. Anyway, there's a great place to come and find, I might just go over the other side and see if we can see the river. Wow, oh. this is a cool spot. Looks like some old oyster farms there, possibly not used anymore, I don't know. There we are, the Brunswick River, I believe, or at least an offshoot of it. Excellent. Oh, fuck me. The camera's come off from one of those puddles. Finally broke my uh, first ever camera mount. There she is. Battery's popped out somewhere. There it is. Well, the card's still in it. That's good. Should have video of that going on. Oh well, I guess the elastic bands weren't going to keep that old broken mount going forever, were they? Oh well. <coughs> Alright, so that was quite the adventure, wasn't it? I'm just going to toodle up to a little cafe up here, get some lunch and then go home down the highway because I want to go out this afternoon with my wonderful wife take her to the beach, cheer her up a bit because she's been a bit under the weather so many thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed coming out with me and checking out some of my local beach areas and seaside places and ride safe, I'll catch you on the next one